Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, we are going to install Kali Linux in our Hyper 5 Manager. So if you are familiar with Hyper 5 Manager, you should know how to use it and how can we create a new virtual machine. But if you are new to Hyper 5 Manager, I'm going to show you how can you install it in your Windows. So go to the search bar and look for turn Windows features on and off. And there you have to expand Hyper 5 and you have two options, management tools and platform. Select both of them and then press OK and it will be installed. And then you have to restart your PC. So I already have it installed. We are going to download the ISO file for Kali Linux. So I'm going to select the 64 bit version and when we press the download button, it will start the downloading. But I already have it downloaded. So we can start our installation. So first we have to create a new virtual machine. So let's go to the Hyper 5 manager. And from the top right, you have to click new and then virtual machine. And there let's go next. So let's give it a name and then generation two. And here we have to give it a memory. So I'm going to select the four gigabytes and use dynamic memory. So it will get more memory if needed. And then default switch as networking. And here we have to give it a name and the size for the hard drive. So I'm going to select 30 gigabytes, which should be enough. And then we have to select the ISO file. So second option and then select the ISO file. So this is our Kali Linux ISO file and we go next and finish. So we have created our first virtual machine and then we can boot it. So to boot it, just double click on the virtual machine. So when you boot it for the first time, you are going to have an error. So I will show you. So let's wait a little bit. And here you can see that the unsigned images hash is not allowed. So it means that Hyper 5 doesn't support unsigned images. So we have to fix it. So right click on the virtual machine and go to settings. And there you will find, let's go to settings and you have to go to security. So you will find the security tab and you have to disable the secured boot option. So if you enable secure boot, you can only use Microsoft images, but we have to switch it off to install Kali Linux. So let's switch off everything and press apply and OK. And when we switch it on now, it should boot our Kali Linux image. So there we go. You can see that we have the GUI and we can start our installation. So we have to press enter button for graphical install. Okay. And the installation has started. And let's select the language. So I'm going to do full screen. So language and then I'm going to select United Kingdom. Continue British English and the installation has started. So now it's asking for the host name. So you can leave it as it is or you can put whatever you want and then a domain name. So let's put uh, test VM. Okay. Continue. And here we have to create a new user. So I'm going to create test user and then the password for the test user. Okay. So we can uh, go next and uh, it is doing all the initial setups. So detecting disk. Now we have to do the partitioning for the disk. So starting up the partitioner. And here I'm going to select use entire disk and set up LVM, which is logical volume manager. So there you can configure all the drives later and I'm going to separate the directories. So press yes and continue. And uh, the, uh, here we have to give it a size. So I'm going to select, let's say 28 gigabytes, but you have to give it in gigabytes. So let's fix it. So go back instead of 30.7, we will put 28 and we will leave some space for from our disk. So 28.7 and we can continue. So it has created all these directories and separated all the directories how I did. So we can press yes and continue. So now it is installing the uh, main system files. So it will take around 10 to 15 minutes. So I have fast forward the video. And here we have to select the uh, graphical user interface. So I'm going to deselect the last option because I had some issues with it. And then we can select all the uh, above options. So this is for the graphical user interface. So we select all of them and we can continue. And now it's going to ask for the display manager. So light display manager and uh, we can continue with it.
and there we go our installation is going to finish soon so it is saying press continue to reboot so it has finished all the installation process so let's wait for the reboot process okay and we can press enter now so the virtual machine is booting so we are inside our kali linux now and here we have to enter our username so i did test user so let's write test user and the password for the test user and congratulations you have installed kali linux in your virtual machine so if you are new to hypervisor you should know now how to use hypervisor so we are inside our hypervisor so this is the menu on the top left and uh, we are inside the terminal now so here if you do sudo apt update it will update all the direct li uh, directory links so you can do sudo apt update which is a very common command it, up it updates all the links and uh, all the packages from uh, the official website and now if i tell you about some uh, commands ls is to view all the files and cd to change the directory so the folders are called as directories in linux ls to view the files and if you are doing mkdir it means make a new directory so i made a folder named sachin so if i do ls it means uh, i'm uh, look, uh, looking for the sachin folder and uh, let's talk about some more so if i am doing wget it means uh, i'm downloading something from any link so if you have any link that you want to download something you can use wget link to uh, wget command to download something from there and if you are doing cat it is to view any document file so if i'm doing sudo it means that i'm giving the root permission to do something if i'm doing dot slash it means that uh, i'm going to run a software so that's basically it we have all the options and we can switch it off i hope you have liked it and if you have any difficulties or if, if you have any question you can ask them in the comment section and i will try to reply as soon as possible and i will see you in a new video now thanks for watching